Hey, hello, and welcome to the show. It is me, JP, not Don Johnson, not Crockett, Sonny Crockett, that the guy? Nope, it's me, it's JP, it's Lars, uh, it's a car, and I don't know why, but here we are anyway. So this is the product pick of the week show. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, thanks for hopping into the chats. We have chat over on YouTube. Hello to Dave Odessa and Bera Graf of Dalhagen. Tackle the world, Dave Odessa. Again, howdy, I'll just keep saying that name. Dave Odessa, hello. Uh, what's the other chats? That's over here on Discord. Head to adafru.it slash Discord, and then look for the live broadcast chat channel. It's the one right there. We have loads of other channels, but that's the one uh, that's happening during the show right now. Uh, hello to Sam J. Ohio and Byron. Greetings from Nevada. Howdy. Uh, Jim Hendrickson, David WA9ONY, and Blitz City DIY says hi. Hi, thanks. Hello to you too. Uh, so what is this? This is the product pick show. I've got a uh, brand spanking new product to share with you and also to offer you the opportunity to buy it at a deep discount. We've got it 50% uh, off. And if you wanna go check it out before we haven't even really get started, that's the product uh, code, product ID for uh, sorry, 6420, you can see right there. Uh, you can use that QR code, you can go to that URL, you can use our URL shortener that works for all sorts of things, adafru.it slash, and then the product number, 6420, that'll get you there. Uh, and we are, uh, we had 100 of them stashed, plus a, a few extra to begin with, so we should have plenty. You don't need a coupon code on this show, just buy it at the discounted price. Uh, throw it in your cart, get it before they run out or before the show is over because after the show, the price goes back up to normal. Uh, this one's inexpensive this week. So before I go any further, as is custom here on the JP Product Pick of the Week show, I like to have Lady Ada go back just a little bit in time and tell us all about this week's product pick. So take it away, Lady Ada. We also have a breakout for the SPA 06003. This is a temperature and pressure sensor. It's kind of a low cost sensor. It's not going to be as good as the BMP series, which we stock the BMP 280 and 390 and 388 and 5, whatever. Um, but I do see this sensor in a like, lot of DIY quadcopter builds. And I was like, well, you know, it's not a big deal to stock it. So I made a little breakout for it. And we have Arduino and um, Python and Circuit Python code. You can read the temperature and pressure from it. Um, again, not as good as the BMP sensors, but it's a little less expensive. That's right, uh, short and sweet. So this right here is the product pick of the week this week. It is the SPA06-003 barometric pressure and temperature sensor. This has I2C connectivity in CircuitPython. It has both I2C and SPI connectivity in Arduino. Uh, and we have some convenient, if you're gonna use I2C, we have some convenient connectors there. Those are those Stemma QT slash quick connectors that you can use to hook that up to your microcontroller or single board computer project with a minimum of fuss and no soldering required. If you do wanna solder it up, we actually give you a little bit of header pin there that you can solder on, put it into your breadboard, put it into your Perma Proto, hook it up to your project. Across the bottom there, you can see we've got Voltage in, this will take 3.3 volts or five volts. We have a three volt out after that's been regulated by the board itself. So if you need that for something, you can grab that there. We've got ground, serial clock, serial data, and then SDI and CS if you're going with the SPI route. On the center of the board there, you can see that little package there. That is that little silver guy with the dot, little hole in the middle of it. That is the barometric pressure and temperature sensor and some salient facts about this. First of all, it is a very low cost sensor, but it's still fairly accurate. We have more accurate ones, but it's hard to beat the cost on this if you need accuracy of plus or minus 2.5 meters. It'll sense from negative 500 to plus 9,000 meters off of sea level. Temperature accuracy is plus or minus one degree Celsius and you can pick up to two I2C addresses on it, so you can easily put two of these on a single I2C bus before you need to start getting 
creative with it. There's just a little jumper on the back there for the address that you can see. And I will jump us over to the product page here that you can, you can take a look there. So we've got, I'm gonna bring on my overlay there. That'll show you the current price and also the, move that over a little bit. Also the stock, we have uh, 98 of them in stock right now. So there it is plugged into a feather board there over the Stemma QT and that's showing off temperature, pressure, and then doing some calculation of that pressure to determine the altitude at your current location. I'll show you that in a little bit of a demo in a moment. If you scroll down, you'll see we have a link here to the product learn guide. There it is in all its glory. This has a pinout page, to let you know how to hook things up. And then we have the CircuitPython and Arduino startup guides there for using the libraries and some sample code can also use this in Whippersnapper for some codeless connectivity action and Adafruit IO, Internet of Things type of connection. If you click on this downloads page, you'll see we've got various CAD drawings of it as well as the data sheet. If we click over here, you can see here it is from Gior Goer, Goer Micro. Gore Micro, this is uh, the confidentiality degree of this is confidential. I don't know what to do with that knowledge, but there you go. That's what the little package looks like there that we've broken out onto the board. And if you look, as I always like to do, check out what do they think it's for? Why have you made this thing? It says right here, it is a barometric air pressure sensor with high accuracy and low current consumption. And it is typically used for enhancements of GPS navigation, dead reckoning and slope detection. So add that to your, your GPS and you can uh, have, have that uh, altitude as well indoor and outdoor navigation, leisure and sports. Perhaps you like leisure. Weather forecast, vertical velocity indication. So as Lady Ada mentioned, these are used sometimes in some quadcopter builds. So it can be useful for, uh, for measuring altitude that way. I will show you a little demo that I've set up here. So here's, here's my board. So there you can see I've got a bring that up for a moment. Uh, I've got the SPA06003 there, temperature and pressure sensor, all in that little package. It's hooked up to a QD Pi here over Stemma QT, so no soldering required. And if you take a look here in my code view at the bottom, I have this reading out the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit, pressure in hectopascals, I think that is, and altitude in meters and feet. So you just have to take my word for those things that they're accurate, but you can at least see them change. So uh, if I take the package here and just put my thumb against it, you should see that temperature changing. The temperature is rising up. If we get a little creative with it, I'm just gonna put this in my hand and uh, try to form a bit of a seal and blow on it. You can see I increased the pressure a ton. Or if we suck on it, decreases the, the pressure so it believes it has gone up a mountain there. So we can get this up to a thousand and some feet. Not what this is intended for, but it'll, it'll work. It's uh, measuring that pressure as well as the temperature uh, as I do those things. So that is all accomplished in this case in CircuitPython by importing this Adafruit SPA06003 library. Then I'm setting up I square C on Stemma QT and then setting up this instance of the sensor object as SPA equals SPA06003 over I square C, and then whichever I square C bus we've created there. We're also setting a sea level pressure, which is my local, I just looked it up, what's my local sea level pressure roughly right now, and that's used to calculate the altitude based on the barometric pressure on the sensor itself. Main loop here, I just ask, SPA dot temperature data ready. Is it ready to give up some data? And SPA pressure data ready? Sure, once this returns, yep, I'm, I'm ready, and this happens very quickly, it will give up the SPA dot temperature, which I'm then casting as temp C, and then I'm doing a little math to cast that as temp F. Same thing with the pressure. We can ask for SPA dot pressure. I'm casting that as altitude in meters by doing this little formula here, and then converting that over to feet 
then we just print this with this little print statement here and refresh that every second. And so that's how that's uh, showing me right down here at the bottom what my current temperature, pressure, and altitude is. So very straightforward to use, and you can use this in a bunch of applications, uh, as we mentioned before. So here is a nice close-up product photo that you can see here, including the little address jumper on the back. I've just got it set on the default, so I don't need to specify. Uh, we do also have a power LED right here, so you can tell when, when the thing has power or not. Uh, where'd my pictures go? Come back. Pictures go back. Uh, mounting holes on here so you can connect this up to a uh, swirly grid or other type of uh, 3D printed enclosure. Maybe you want just leave some space for the pressure sensor uh, to get what it needs. Uh, and what else? That's product photo. That's your uh, current state of them. We have 90 of them in stock there, so don't. Uh, don't delay, you can get up to 10 of them per customer, no resellers allowed, so go, go grab some. Uh, let me see, any questions over in the chats there? Uh, doesn't look like it, okay. Good, everything clear. Okay, that is gonna do it then. Go grab some sensors for yourself, tell us what you use them for, we're interested to hear about your projects. Uh, and that's going to do it. So let me grab this and wrap this up. That right there is my product pick of the week this week. It is the SPA 06-003 Barometric Pressure and Temperature Sensor Breakout. For Adafruit Industries, I'm John Park. This has been JP's product pick of the week. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.